Hi everyone, Alejandro here with Alta Robotics. In this part of the smart controller tutorial series, we'll go over how to update your smart controller to the latest system, app, and firmware versions. The update should be done in the following order. System, then app, and lastly, your firmware update. During the smart controller's system and app updates, make sure that your aircraft is powered off. Only power on your aircraft when going through the firmware update process. Please do not install a Google Play or Google Framework services onto your smart controller. However, you can install third-party applications onto your smart controller. To do this, you'll open up Google Chrome, and then you'll search the application's name alongside APK. In this example, we're using Air Data, so we'll go ahead and search Air Data APK. This will typically take you to the downloads page of whatever application you're looking for. You'll want to make sure that you're downloading the latest version of that third-party application to ensure compatibility with the smart controller. Once the file is downloaded, Chrome will typically ask you if you want to open the file. You'll tap open, which will then ask you if you want to install the application onto the smart controller. Once you've gone through the installation process, you'll now see the third-party application under the apps menu in the smart controller's main screen. Now that we've unboxed and set up our smart controller, we'll want to ensure that all of the smart controller's components are up to date. We'll start off by connecting our smart controller to a Wi-Fi connection. You can do this via the settings app in the main menu. Once we've done that, we can open the Autel Explorer app and head to our camera view. And once in the camera view, you'll tap the settings icon in the top right hand corner. Now on the left hand side, you'll want to tap general and scroll down to the software updates menu option. You'll now see three options on the right hand side and we'll tap on the middle option that says system software. Now we'll tap the begin download option and let the software update download from our server. Once the software update is downloaded from the server, you'll tap the start installation button and let the software update be installed to the tablet. During this process, the tablet will automatically reboot. To verify that the system software update has gone through, you can tap back into that same software update menu and see if you're already on the latest version. Now we'll go through the app update process. This is very similar to your system update, except we'll go into a slightly different menu option. We'll tap back into the camera view and then the settings menu in the top right hand corner. But this time when we get to the general settings and then software update section, we'll tap on app update. Then you'll tap start download. Once the update is downloaded, you'll tap the start installation button which will automatically give you the option to either close out the app by tapping done, or you can relaunch the app by tapping open. To verify that the update went through, you can head back to the app update menu, and you will be prompted that you are already on the latest version. Now lastly, we'll go through your firmware update on your smart controller and for your Evo 2 aircraft. This update is very similar to the OTA or over-the-air update that you'll see on a regular mobile device that's running the Explorer app. But instead, you'll access it through the same set of update menus that we've done the first two updates on. So you'll head back to your camera view, and then tap the settings menu by the icon in the top right hand corner. We'll go back to general on the left hand side, and then tap software updates. But now this time we'll tap on UAV firmware. Now you'll begin downloading the firmware update from our server. Once the update is downloaded from our server, we'll now upload it to your smart controller and your aircraft. You'll do this by tapping the start uploading button and allowing the firmware update to be unpacked and then uploaded. Once the update is completed, you'll see a list of all of the aircraft and remote controllers components and whether they completed the update or not. If everything has a green check mark next to it, then all of your components are up to date and you're ready to reboot your aircraft and your smart controller. If there are any components that have a red X, something has failed to update and you'll have to go through the update process again. 
If you're having repeated firmware update issues, please contact our support team. That's all for the update procedures on your Autel Smart Controller. Make sure to stay tuned for the next video in the series.